In this video, I'm going to show you how fun it is to use Squiggy to work on serpentine lines and wavy lines on your quilt. Now, Squiggy is a new ruler I designed with Creative Grids. Let me tell you, I could not be more proud of this ruler. What's awesome about it is it has that grippy stuff on the back that's going to help hold it in position. It also has the black and white marked lines, so no matter what color fabric I use it on, I'm going to be able to see those marking lines. Now, even though this is a weird kind of shape, it's actually meant to be a serpentine line. If you have been reading my blog or watching any of my videos, you probably know that I love quilting serpentine lines, whether it's in blocks or borders, but there's one thing I've noticed when teaching it, it can be a tricky one to learn. The problem is it has a reversing direction. So you go one direction and then you switch to the other, which can be really hard to wrap your mind around, especially if you're new at machine quilting. So I've made a ruler that's gonna help you with that. Another thing that is so very important are these needle stops. Now what this is going to do is not only let you know when to stop without going past the ruler, but it's also gonna help you gauge where to position the ruler in reference to your border. These needle stops right here help you position the ruler exactly where it needs to go, and the reference lines help ensure that it goes straight on your seam. So let's get to quilting. Running it along the curve until I get to the edge of the area, as soon as I hit that seam, I know that it's time to stop. And I have my first serpentine line. I'm gonna put the ruler against the foot, place my needle stop here along my seam, hold it down in place, and gently quilt along that ruler until I get to the other side, until I hit my seam. As soon as I hit the seam, that's when I need to stop quilting the design. And if I wanted to, I could just use this needle, this straight edge right here, to travel down. You don't have to, you could just freehand it. But once I'm in place, I'm gonna reposition my ruler, again, lining up my reference marks with the seam. That's gonna help keep it nice and consistent. Hold it in place, and then quilt along that ruler until I touch the other seam. And then if I wanted to, I could just travel down, reposition, and go right back up the same way I went. until I get to the other side. And that's gonna help me quickly quilt this serpentine line shape. Now you might be wondering, why are we just using half of the ruler? Well, this shape allows us to go from the left to the right, or I can position it right here and go from the right to the left. This is especially helpful if I'm quilting multiple borders like here, so that I can go right from one into the other. Just go until I run into the seam, reposition my ruler, quilt along that curve, So let's say I want to do multiple borders at one time. Now I can just reposition and go on the other side. Go until I hit the seam, travel down a bit, half inch or so, depending on how much spacing I want. Realign the ruler so it's touching the foot, put my needle stop along that seam, and then quilt until I hit the seam. And if I want to go right into my other one, I can just reposition. Again, my needle stop is going to be my reference point and I want to have it touch the seam right there and go along the side of it until I get to the other side. Until I get to that seam. So Squiggy is meant to make your serpentine lines in your three inch borders, or you can use this curve right here to work in your two inch borders. So it's a very versatile tool depending on what you want to work with. Or if you wanted to, you can quilt the whole wave and have a wavy kind of design for your borders. Let's say I just want to do some curves. I'll use those reference points just to quilt my curve and then continue on. And if I wanted to, I could even do it the opposite direction and I get a, a fun kind of orange peel design repositioning, using those reference marks, using that grip to help hold it in place, pushing down and then moving it along the ruler. And this is really just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with this design. You can do serpentine lines, curves, and even wavy lines. Here's a couple more pictures of different designs I quilted with the squiggy ruler. So even if you don't want to quilt serpentine lines, if you want to quilt some fun waves, if you want to quilt some border designs, or if you just want a fun shaped ruler that could be used as a boomerang, I'm just saying, then Squiggy is for you. 
And if you'd like to find out more information about how you can get this ruler, just check out the description box below. Thanks for watching.